Hey, my good friends, Sam Haymart with Test Driven TV. We have just test driven the all new Dodge Hornet with the two liter turbocharged engine. So it's in the garage. We're gonna pop open the hood and do a full underhood tour, outlining all of the major technical features and the do it yourself maintenance service points. One of the two engines available in the Dodge Hornet is what Dodge calls the Hurricane 4 2 liter turbocharged four cylinder. In this vehicle, it produces 268 horsepower and 295 pound feet of torque, and it's mated to the brand's venerable ZF based 9 speed automatic transmission. Known internally as the Global Medium Engine, or GME, it has an aluminum block with cast iron cylinder liners and an aluminum head. It features direct fuel injection, dual variable cam timing, and has an automatic start-stop system. Its turbocharger is controlled by an electronically controlled wastegate, and intake charge cooling is handled by an air-to-water intercooler. The layout of the engine compartment is a little bit unique, with the turbocharger at the front of the engine in plain sight, easy to burn your hands on. Then there's the air filter box, which actually sits high on top of the engine itself, taking up ample space afforded by the tall SUV's profile. In that way, following the airflow, the intake charge starts through a snorkel at the top of the radiator and travels back into that large air filter box mounted on top of the engine. From there, it travels through an ornate plenum tube into the turbocharger itself. Once boosted, the intake charge travels up and over to the rear of the engine where it goes through an integral air-to-water intercooler and then into the intake manifold. It's hard to see, but it's back there. On the top of the engine, you can see a couple of the spark plug coil packs, but some are hidden. This means that replacing the plugs is likely a day job as you'll need to remove a lot of extra components to reach them all. Spent exhaust gases exit through the turbocharger and down into the catalyst and exhaust system. There's a lot of heat shielding here for a reason. This gets extremely hot, so do watch your hands here if you've been driving the vehicle. DIY maintenance on the Dodge Hornet begins with the oil dipstick at the passenger side front of the engine with its bright yellow handle. Further back, you'll find the oil filler cap mounted a little bit higher on top of the engine. The oil filter has to be accessed from below. There are two coolant reservoirs. One at the passenger side is for the intercooler system. The other at the driver's side front is for the engine coolant. Brake fluid can be checked and topped off back at the driver's side firewall. A bit of a task to get to, but it's there. The 12 volt battery is located nearby with easy access, a fuse box to its right. That one's a little more challenging to get into. The engine computer is found next to the 12 volt battery, but it's not typically user serviceable. Changing the air filter does require a screwdriver to open the box, but accessing it is rather easy given its top of the engine location. Well, there you go, my friends, the underhood tour, the all new two liter turbocharged Dodge Hornet. Now we do have a test drive on this vehicle. You can see that on our other channel right there. If you like this nuts and bolts stuff, you can subscribe to TDTV Garage right there. Either way, stay tuned.